Happy Wednesday, athletes. Hope you are doing well. Uh, Coach Autumn, Coach Scott, and uh, Coach Leia, who's chewing on a stick right now, um, coming at you live from Impact Studio. All right, um, this is leg day. Um, still not getting away from our skills in regards to the clean and press. As we mentioned, this was supposed to be this month. Uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do for May. We may just throw this into you uh, when you get back here in May, um, Lord willing. All right, so what we have today, suitcase squat. You can do this either with a kettlebell or a DVRT bag. Um, either way is going to be very effective. What we're looking at, the suitcase squat is exactly what it means. So you're carrying your suitcase through the airport or to the airport, what's going on? This thing's heavy. And so what we have to do is be able to auto-correct, be able to pull the, with, this, uh, with the external obliques on this side to be able to stand tall. Same thought goes in with this in a squat. So we're gonna squat, grab this, the, uh, the, either the, the bag or the kettlebell, I'll show you both, we're gonna come up. So this thing's pulling me this side, really have to be stable. So we're gonna pull the ribs down, hips are in neutral. We're gonna do the best that we can that we're not doing this as we get into the squat. So we're going to do one side first, and then the other side on uh, the subsequent round. I'll show you on the other side. Take the kettlebell, something heavy. Um, you guys should be armed enough with, um, with accessories that you should be able to do this. There again, with the kettlebell, it's the same thing. Rip the ground apart. Um, don't let the knees cave in. So really rip the ground apart as you're coming down and up. So that's the suitcase squat. Next, dead bug window washers. So we're gonna take our same DVRT sandbag. You can take a backpack. I'll show you this one for a uh, a movement coming up. Now, all I have is the 50 and 80 pound bags, but this can work just as well. The goal, as we get into dead bug, we're on the fist right here. So this is our dead bug position. We're not in lower back extension. We've raised the hips. Now, we're gonna keep the hips together, or the knees together, we're just going to go back and forth. We're going to go as far as we're able. Reset each time to make sure that back is flat and the hips are in neutral. You're going to feel a really good stretch on the opposite side. Where we don't want to go is here and then just losing everything. You can see my shoulders um, just drop to the floor. I want to be super strong through the shoulders and super steady. So those are DVRT, window washers. Now, most of you should have, the, uh, have a 10 pound bag, the green one. Uh, the smaller camo, um, you can probably, uh, if you have either the red one or we do have a pink one in house now, um, 10 to 15 pounds is all we're going to look for. So if you don't have that, grab a backpack. And what we're going to do, staggered stance squat. So what does that look like without the weight? You're on your toe here. Um, as it is stepped back just past your heel line, this is our squat, all right? Nothing different than what we do here. It's just a staggered stance. So we're gonna work one side, then the other. Now, 
The other component to this is a press out squat, but we're gonna stir. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna make a nice wide arc. As we do that, as we get into our squat, we press out and around. So you can see what's going on. We're making a nice arc with the bag as we get into the squat and as we come out of the squat. Then subsequent rounds going every other one. You're gonna step back here, same thing. And that's gonna be every other round. Um, this is one we've done before. This is the back lunge, overhead press, front lunge, going back and forth. So there again, we bring the bag in, not taking it for granted. Still very good mechanics, whether we're picking up a bag, picking up a box, picking up a bag of dog food, doesn't matter. In this case, for, uh, for us getting it to that fisted position, we're gonna hinge, grab, pull up, this is our starting position. From here, lunge, press, lunge, press. I want you to work one side at a time. So the left foot stays grounded on your first time, and the right foot stays grounded on the alternate round. So a lot of work today with single leg stability, alternating rounds. Now, the last one is another staggered stance type of work. Um, really, uh, seems to be, as I programmed this one today, I had that in mind um, as far as working in different planes more than just having feet together. So, staggered stance with a high hinge deadlift. You can, Use the bag. Um, I'm gonna have you still use neutral handle. I want you to clean it into a front loaded position. All right, so this is if you have a DVRT bag. There again, staggered stance, high hinge, means the weight is up high. We're going to really sit back into this hinge. This front leg, it's gonna have a lot of good hamstring activation. Pulling the elbows down, so we have the flat back. And you can see I'm in this position. Hinge, drive, both feet are flat. Here's what it looks like on the other side. We're bracing, pulling the ribs down. Now, kettlebell, same thing, grabbing it by the horns. Remember, handle, horns, bell. Same thing, put the bell right into the chest, handle is facing forward. Same thing, the handle will end up pointing almost down as you drive back into that hinge. Really gonna feel it through the hammies today. Now, finisher, I'm not gonna say this is easy, but this is gonna test you today, and this is gonna be, this is gonna be a good one. Zero weight, this is a high knee hold but I want to challenge you today with your eyes closed. So 20 on, 10 off. Our work for 20 seconds, high knee, and I want you, there again, the hips are underneath us, ribs are low. I want you to be able to close your eyes, work through that toe, nice activated arch. This is difficult, not gonna lie. So hold that for the 20, rest for the 10, do whatever you need to do for the 10. Get into that high knee, close your eyes. 
This is very, this is not easy. Trust me, I'm working extremely difficult. If you want to even add more difficulty, put your hands to your side versus having your counterbalance here. 20 on, 10 off. It's a total different change in, in what we do on finishers. Really like to, you know, get the heart racing here for the finisher. But this is going to be a, an extremely good one to get single leg stability, working through the toe, working through that heel, getting that squeeze into the ground to be super strong. This will help us um, in our gait patterns when we walk, when we lunge, when we squat. You guys know how how um, focused in I am on making sure we work through the toes. So with that, um, have a happy Wednesday. Hope you guys have a great time. Somebody's working hard on that stick. <laughs> but uh, we'll have Friday's workout posted. Hopefully we have all this stuff ready for you when you wake up in the morning. Have a great day for Coach Autumn, Coach Leia, and myself. Know your impact, and we'll see you soon. Bye.